Hi again, in last uh, tutorial we went to look at the settings of VirtualBox and we want to install Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. So let's go quickly over the settings. It's uh, shown in another tutorial, but let's have a quick look. And uh, these things have not been changed, but the system has. So we've given half of the memory to the VirtualBox. So we have the host system, which is Windows 10, and the guests, which is going to be Linux. So half-half. Processors. We have four processors, so we're going to give two to the system. The system being VirtualBox. In the display, we're doing the same. Half-half, or less. And in storage, we're going to select here our ISO, which is going to be Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon, 64 bits. Let's go ahead and install it. So we have to start it. This can be, let's delete some stuff here. Let's get that out of the way like this. Let's maximize this. It's going to start the virtual machine. Let's press enter to make it a bit faster. And in fact, installing Linux Mint is quite easy. It's a graphical installer. You don't need to type any commands. You don't need to know what to do with an uh, SSD or what to do with uh, partitions and all that. How to format it. It's been dealt with in a graphical way. You don't have to cite anything. Just press next, 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 and so on. We have this big button, install Linux Mint. That's probably where we have to press. So we're double clicking it and we get our choices here. You choose the language you want. I'm going to go for English. Let's get this out of the way. I never install this, don't need it. It's for Flash, MP3 and so on. I'm using VLC for instance, which can play everything. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. It's my advice not to make things and life more complex than it needs to be. Just press Erase Disk and Install Linux Mint and let him decide what he'll take as partitions. So in partition 1 he's going to use extension 4 or ext4, not extension, but some kind of formatting. And in partition 5 we're going to use a swap. Just say OK, continue. Because my advice is install whatever you want on your system and keep everything in the cloud, the things you want to keep. So when something happens, you just have everything in the cloud and just reinstall Linux Mint or any other Linux version. I have a keyboard that's Belgian, he knows where I am. That's great, otherwise change it. And we're gonna make our Linux Mint box like so. I'm going to pick my own name and my password and my password and I always want to log in automatically. I do know my name and I do know my password so it's going to log in automatically now. And that's it. How technical was this? So now we just wait and I'm going to pause the movie a bit to spare some time. The only thing that happens now is a slideshow of all the important things. Maybe you can go over it. So Firefox, Flash, Java, and Spotify, Rhythmbox, Audio Codex, VLC, Media Player, Video Codex, Pix, GIMP, Inkscape, so the Photoshop version, but then open source and no money at all, free. Skype to phone, Thunderbird, Pigeon, XChat, all the office stuff. And the gaming stuff, Dropbox is Steam, is, uh, sorry, Steam is gaming, Dropbox is cloud, Blender is more graphical, 
and Minecraft. Of course, you know those things. Wine is for the, lin the, the Windows stuff that you want to run on the Linux and VirtualBox. You're using it. And there we are. Customizing, updating. That's the last one. So I'm going to pause the movie here. The last thing you have to do now is um, finish it. So continue testing or restart now. The option is, of course, restart now. And then, last but not least, when you reboot, best to stop it. Why? Because of the ISO that's still in there. So get rid of this. The drive is empty and now you can start it and you have your own Linux Mint version. This ends the tutorial.